to Ms. Camille Cochran. Thank you, Speaker. Um, on behalf of the New Democratic Caucus and our leader, Andrew Horvath, I'd like to comment on the 100th plowing match that was held uh, this week. It's being held as we speak. Mm -hmm. And first of all, in my thank yous, I would like to thank the member from Algoma, Manitoulin, for allowing us to use his uh, camper for two days. And you can't experience the plowing match, the IPM, unless you camp there. That is the way to do it. And there's also been some questions raised about should the legislature really stop for the plowing match? And to answer that question, you really have to understand, and it's a legitimate question, but to answer that question, you have to understand what it is. It takes about three years from the time someone applies to hold the plowing match in their region to the time it comes to fruition. During that time, planning and work, and about a month before the politicians show up for their parade, construction begins. And rural people build a city centre out of tents. They build a suburb out of trailers. And it's fully serviced. It's got hydro, it's got water, it's got sanitary services. It has public transportation. We, were, we, we saw the buggy go by our Mike's trailer. We thought, wait a second, it's the plowing match LRT? <laughs> And they build this, they hold the match for a week, and they have to contend with Mother Nature. As Jackie Bishop, congratulations on being the first female chair of ICM. And her board made the decision to close it today because of the rain, because it, it demanded a decision. And if we go back to Walton next year, it'll be pastoral fields of crops. You'll never know it was there. And people say, that's crazy. Why would they do that? Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy like the people who plant their seeds every year knowing full well that they might die. They might be destroyed. Their crops, their animals might die. It's crazy. Those people have worked their whole lives, and their biggest dream is that their children continue to tradition. That's crazy. But that's why. That's why we need to stop to go to the IPM. And that's why we have to appreciate the indomitable spirit of rural Ontario. I'm so proud to be a farmer and I'm so thankful that the legislature actually stops for two days and appreciates that when you go back to Walton next summer, it'll be farmer's fields. And when you come to Verner in 2019 in my riding, you go there now, it's one of the most beautiful farms in the area. And in 2019, it will be a city built for a week because that's what farmers do. Thank you. Thank you.